What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode uh, 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 of The Celebrity Jump. Dima, stop the show right now. I, I want to make this show for you black men out there. And the reason why is because I don't really deal with non black issues, although I'm going to use the white man in this particular incident to prove my point many of you struggle brothers out there are always talking about how you need to go overseas you need to find you some women because american women are trash and this is coming from a guy that lives overseas i'm overseas right now and i understand your point of view but i want to prove to you that most of the guys that have this particular argument usually if not all the time but you know there's 80 70 percent of guys that have personal problems themselves that keep them from getting women wherever they are just like the old saying goes wherever you are wherever you go there you are and some of you guys are bums <laughs> so you do bum stuff in america you do it in the dr you do it in colombia you do it in brazil wherever you go there you are bumming it up dusting it up sandling it up now i want to prove this because i'm talking to the guy about this guy named paul don't know what his last name is is it steli stale i don't know i know it was some chick named corinne martins and she's a bum and he's a bum all right but they're on this show called 90 day fiance now 90 day fiance is a very interesting show you know i've talked about it before people like to watch it all right i, I mean i don't but you know, some of you don't have any lives can watch it. All right, it's on TLC. <laughs> but in interestingly enough, this guy Paul, right? He's with this Brazilian chick, and uh, you know they met in Brazil, and he he got her over there to America. And I mean, you know, she is a uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't think she looks that good or anything. Bruh. But. You know, she seems like he's the kind of guy that can't get a girl in America. Well, we're gonna explain why, right? He's controlling, he has a criminal history, he can't get a job, he's a bum, okay? Totally a bum. But he's one of those guys that's like, you know what? Dang music! I need to go and um, I need to go and, 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 and check things out and, and, and go overseas to Brazil. All right but here's the problem when he couldn't find work in brazil he came back to america at 37 now she has a baby the mama didn't want his sorry ass living with her okay and so she got tired of it now this is her right here with supposedly his son now according to some that watch the show she is just you know thotting it up and she's looking for a green card oh my god and now she's in hiding with the baby she wanted to do with his ass okay and see what i want to talk about is for a lot of brothers that talk this whole thing about how bad american women are you need to go overseas some of you brothers are paul okay i, I i'm just gonna be real i know this because i'm in some of y'all travel groups now stop the show i do appreciate the pictures that y'all be sharing of the chicks that y'all be smashing on, even though I think that's lame, but I'll look at them anyway. And a lot of y'all that participate in these kind of forums, I would say at least 25 to 30% of guys are like Paul, all right? And a lot of times when you look at a guy like him, it, now he's in Brazil, can't keep a woman, can't keep a woman in America. Whose fault is that? The only constant is him. Don't get me wrong, when you guys talk about American women and, and, and how bad they can be, I would not disagree. Like, you know, I mean, definitely the WAP culture and thotting it up and sandaling it up and weaving it up is something that's important. But you cannot escape being a bum. If you're not a man, and let me tell you this, right? Some of you guys talking about you can get a better deal overseas. Listen, man, if you deal with a woman overseas in their country, there is no 50-50. All right, you are expected to be providing a hundred zero. All 
All right. And if you can't do that, they're out. This is what he's finding out. Out. Oh, hell no. Then when you find out who she really wanted to be with, some guy in her home country that they, they ain't got no job, then you be mad. And, and I really think that a lot of guys out here feel that, you know, overseas is the best option for you to get a woman. The best option for you is to be a hell of a man wherever you are. All right. Great people perform very well, no matter wherever they are. I think for some guys, they need a little bit of a push or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> but this is, you know, this is this this is the uh, typical story of, of of a guy who could make it in the U.S. with a girl, has to go overseas and get a girl, and now it don't work out. You stupid. That's why I don't really, you know, when people say, um. You know, women in Poland are better women in the United States. Women in Africa are better. I will say, for me, I have a preference. You know, a preference will always be somebody in my culture. Because I, I, I understand somebody in my culture. But again, you know, being American, and in his case, he's a white guy. And this is a white guy that has every advantage. White guy. But a bum, no job, can't provide, hella criminal history, dusty. And a lot of times, you know, when you when you when when, when people are talking about, well, you know, can't find a good woman in America, I got to go somewhere else. Well, some of that problem could be you. Just like in this problem is him. It's not her fault that 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 he's that he suck. He's a loser. That's his fault. His fault he's a sandaler he sandals it up now he now to the point she didn't left the guy he don't know if that baby is his or not Bruh. or the baby that's supposed to be coming is his he all on instagram apologizing to her begging her she don't even want his ass oh my god so much so for being a u.s citizen so guys try to warn you it's your boy o'shea duke jackson Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Check the first comment pinned to the top. You'll find my um, information. You will find the play, uh, my Patreon, my email, the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts, the Teespring store for that. All that's there. So, guys, thank you for the support. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.